we're going to dive head first into a topic that can really make or break your online success. And that is web design. I'm going to give you some practical solutions to improve your website, improve your online presence and ultimately improve your personal brand. You'll also discover why bad design is a recipe for personal branding disaster. And I'm gonna share my unfiltered thoughts on DIY websites. And I know this is a touchy subject for some people. I gots to talk about it. I'm rolling my sleeves on this one. Yo, what's up, goats? Design Goat is a weekly podcast hosted by yours truly, Courtney Sargent Sr. I'm a 14 year award winning graphic and web design veteran with over 100 websites under my belt, over 50,000 hours in the game, designed for Fortune 100 companies like Frito Lay. And my work has been featured and seen on the New York Times, Good Morning America, uh, the Food Network, and Beyonce.com, just to name a few, you know. And each week on the show, I'm going to break down and discuss the art and the business of all things design. And I'm going to inspire you as a designer to discover and unleash your inner design goat. Without further ado, let's get into the show. Some people even believe that you don't even need a website nowadays, and it can't be far from the truth, man. You need a website for the sake of credibility, right? Because you, you, whenever someone makes a referral, they immediately go to either social media or their website, or both, actually. <laughs> And so if you want to be a credible business owner, entrepreneur, then you got to have a website like who doesn't have a website now or some form of a site. It could be a landing page. It could be a sales funnel. You need some type of website. Um, another reason you need a website is because of ownership, ownership over the technology, ownership over the platform. You don't own social media, none of the sites. I would even go to say that you don't even own your content that you post. You don't own Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter or X or whatever the hell it's called now. LinkedIn. You don't own any of that. So whenever something goes down, you're down too. what you do own is your website. That is the only thing on the Internet that you truly, truly own uh, your website and your your email subscribers, your email uh, database. So you own that as well. And I want you to really start thinking about you know, in the online space as an entrepreneur, you got to think about data and being a data collection and data processing company. So that's another story. Another reason you still need a website is control. You have control over your story and control over your message and ultimately control over your destiny because you can create a website and nobody can filter you. Nobody can alter your content. Nobody can tell you what you can or cannot say on your website. So those are just only three reasons, three simple reasons you still need a website today and your website. It can't just be any website. The impact of a bad website design on business is infinite. You know, we, I'm talking decreased customer engagement, user engagement. When people come to the site, if you got a bad design, nobody's going to want to be there. So you're going to have a high bounce rate, which means people are leaving your website without taking any action, without buying any products without signing up for any of your your email list or downloading anything um, you're going to have which leads to lower conversions right because when people come they immediately leaving because this website looks whack man <laughs> like design does sell i don't care what you say i don't care what nobody say design does sell because you go to a site that looked like it was made in 1999 2000 man you leaving that website so quick if the website don't even load fast enough you leaving that joint so you got to have a good website and the website has to look professional. I'm not saying they got to win awards, you know, for best looking website design. I'm not saying that. I don't suggest that. I do suggest you have a professional website. Now, if you can create that website on your own, that's great. But at the end of the day, I'm going to recommend you hire somebody because you're not a designer. And we'll, I'm going to get into that. I'm going to talk about that, too. But, um, you know, all of this, this, you know, this it leads to reduce revenue like you're not going to have as many sales if your website is not on point um it's going to have a direct effect on your bottom line you're going to see it you're going to feel it i'm telling you what i know i've i've been doing this for way too long so you're going to see it and you're going to feel it and you know the other thing is a bad website is going to leave a negative impression um on your visitors on your potential clients 
Because listen, the people that's coming to your website, they're coming there for a reason, right? They, they got there for a reason. They just didn't out of the blue type in Courtney S. Sargent.com. I ain't that well known. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So people are landing on my website from social media, from email, from LinkedIn. People are coming there because I'm sending people there. I'm directing people there. They clicking on my website and coming from search engines, you know, as well. Search, my website is search engine optimi optimized. So I'm showing up in the search engines and people are clicking on that because, oh, they find this interesting. Let me click this. And let me go to the site. And then if it's a bad experience, people are going to leave the website. And what a bad website says about you is that you're not serious. You don't take yourself seriously. You don't take your business seriously. Like you, you just... You're just doing something right like you. You're an amateur at this. You're not really an expert. You're not the expert that you say that you are, you know, and you very well could be the expert, but you can't be an expert looking like an amateur. That shit don't work that them two don't jive together. Let me tell you something. It is easier for an amateur to be successful and look like an expert than it is for an expert to look like an amateur and be successful. Does that make sense? Let me say it again. It is easier for someone who's an amateur to look like an expert and be successful than it is for an expert, an actual expert to look like an amateur and be successful. And so my point is your designs and your visuals got to be on point. Again, they ain't got to win awards, but the shit got to be on point so that people take you seriously so that you look like the expert that you are. If you got 10, 15, 20 years of experience, your your doggone visuals need to look like you got 10, 15, 20 years of experience. You can't be looking like no beginner out here. It's not going to work. You're not going to reach success. You're not going to get to where you want to be. Yeah, you. I'm not saying you're not ever going to get clients or ever going to get any sales because you will. You will get some, but you're not going to reach the pinnacle, the summit of where you can and should be in your business and your personal brand. And it's extremely important for you to keep your website updated. I cannot tell you, man, how many websites, how many clients have come to me with outdated websites and stuff just broken down on their site because of something as simple as maintenance. Like you got to have maintenance on your website. You know what I'm saying? It's so simple because technology changes every day. You know, I have about 10 client, about uh, about 11 client websites that we're managing right now. And we update. Initially, we were updating once a week. But now I'm like, guys, we got to update twice a week because things are refreshing all the time. Like there are new plugin updates, WordPress uh, rollouts, like the new theme rollouts and updates. Things are changing all the time and it's advancing, especially with AI. So you got to be on it. You got to be on top of it and you don't want to be outdated. Um, let me let me wrap this up because I'm, I'm almost running out of time. I like to keep these short and sweet. Some challenges that your outdated website is going to pose for you is people being frustrated. Users are going to be frustrated when they come to your website and it's not a good experience. Again, you're going to have high bounce rates. And a lot of these issues can be avoided if you weren't trying to be Mr. DIY and Miss DIY trying to do your own website. And you can avoid a lot of the problems and challenges that you're facing if you just outsource it to somebody who know what they're doing. And you just focus on your zone of genius because you are a genius at what you do. You're not a genius web designer. You didn't go to school for this. You don't have web design clients. This is not what you do. OK, focus on what you do and leave the rest up to other other people. You got to bring people in. Like if you want to achieve something great, you can't achieve greatness alone. You need other people to help you be great. And I recognize this and I know this. Listen, I'm a web designer and I have somebody helping me with my websites. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it all myself. And, you know, my problem, I, I have a real problem with the DIY website builders. Like on one hand, on one hand, they really make it easy for people to create their own website. And I love that. I love that. That's really great. But then on the other hand, Web, DIY website builders like Squarespace and Wix, they've made it easier for people to have poorly designed websites. They really have. And I find that to be a great problem because I want to rid the world. <laughs> I want to rid the Internet of poor websites. I really do. And of, of, of amateur graphics. 
when I see it, it just makes me cringe. And I'm like, oh, my God, I know they did that with Canva. I know you created that design with Canva. I know that you went into Squarespace and you're like, oh, let me just pay $37 and I can get my own website and I can do it myself. I ain't got to hire nobody and pay thousands. Let me do it myself. Listen, that may work for a period of time, but when you're trying to get to that next level of greatness, you got to outsource that thing. You got to outsource that G thing and let somebody else do it who's a professional. I'm not saying you got to hire me. Yeah, you can't hire me because I'm the design goat, but you need to outsource it to somebody who know what they're doing, somebody who really understands web design and understands how to leverage the online platform to help you grow and build your personal brand. Because if not, you're going to end up wasting a bunch of time that you already don't have trying to be someone that you're not trying to do something that you don't know anything about. And then you're going to end up frustrated. You're going to end up wasting a bunch of money and you're going to end up with an unprofessional amateur looking website. And that's just not going to help you. It's just not going to help. It's just not. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help you. Those are my thoughts. All right. That's that's just what I think about it. I would love to know what you think about it. Leave a comment somewhere. Uh, leave a review to let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Uh, tap in with me on Instagram, on LinkedIn. Uh, and just let me know what you think about the DIY website builders. Again, I'm not bashing them. I'm not hating on them. I, I love it. They're beautiful. They can create beautiful websites. But a lot of times you don't really know how to leverage those beautiful websites for conversions and for, you know, for buyers. And so, you know, what I'm saying that that's just my thoughts. All right. That's just my thoughts. All right. That's really literally all the time that I have for today. Um, but just understand that your website is not just a bunch of pixels and a bunch of code like your website is your digital persona it is your home online it is your online home it's your front door so it's the online front door to your business that's what it is and it's got to be on point and ain't nobody got time for bad design because that hurts everybody not just you but it hurts your visitors because they can't get what they're looking for right your potential clients you sending them away so um i just as you can see, I'm super passionate about, you know, this topic. And I just feel like, um, you know, if you want to be a professional, you got to You got to have professional. You know what I'm saying? You got to have professional things. And so don't let a bad website design sabotage your success. All right. And if you don't have time to learn web design and to learn how to be a web designer and you want it to be done right the first time, then hire a professional to work their magic. And I'm going, I'm really, really going in on this. Like, I really want you to hire somebody so that you can focus on your zone of genius so that you can save time, save money and save your, your headaches and heartaches because your brand deserves it. And so do you. All right. That's all the time that I have for today. Thank you so much again for listening. If you'd like to work with me or learn more about what I do, go to my agency website, sergeantbranding.com or go to my personal site, CourtneySSargent.com and follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn. Uh, I post a lot of educational content on those two platforms. And last thing, please leave a review on the iTunes podcast app and tap follow and subscribe on YouTube. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, let's make it better by going up together. Peace out. This is a production of 1217 Media.